Hey, hey, team, how's it going? Give me just one moment, and then it's showtime. If you weren't here yesterday, I'm changing the format of the class to similar to what I did with the A Day this week. So instead of, there we go. Instead of separating all the different zones, I'm gonna run it from the beginning right to the end. So we're gonna start off right with our very first uh, jab, right to the very last push-up that the advanced team will end up doing in about 45 minutes or so, right? In the middle of that, we'll have about three to five minutes for our map chat. And at that point, for any adults, or really anyone, certainly, uh, that's a good chance for you to kind of sit and stretch. Everything that we're doing, you should be able to do really without stretching. You're not kicking straight up in the air. I haven't stretched out any more than any of you have. In fact, some of you, if you're adults, you probably pre-stretched before you even started this tape, right? Or watch the live video. So uh, you'll do just fine. Just keep your body moving. As your body warms up and gets sweaty, it'll move through those range of motions just fine. And then you maybe do some stretching afterwards, right? So let's get going. Everyone set. And courtesy, Sudacree number one. I intend to develop myself in a positive manner and to avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth or my physical health. <laughs> Number two, I intend to develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and in others. <laughs> Number three, I intend to use what I learn in class constructively and defensively to help myself and my fellow man and never to be abusive or offensive. <laughs> and a nice thank you, sir. Courtesy. Awesome job, team. Hold on just one second. All right, let's get it going. Ready, position, right back to ready stance. And now ready from here, we're gonna work on our perfect guard, our perfect boxing strikes as our warm up, right? For white belts and yellow and orange belts, important that you guys are learning these skills. For everybody else, a really good review, so make sure you're paying close attention to these details. My elbows are close to my body. My hands are up by my face, right? As Shihan Moti once told me, Keep your enemies close, but keep your elbows closer, right? Right from here, we're gonna extend out the perfect jab. And with a perfect jab, notice that the point of my forehead is the closest part of my head, not my nose. I don't want my face this way. I want my head down as I throw that jab. My chin is tucked in and it helps to protect this side of my head. My hand is on this side to help protect, right? So the perfect jab, we're just gonna do this for about 30 seconds. You're just extending out the perfect jab and you're right back to your guard. Extend it and then right back. Extend and right back. Feel free to move around a little bit, right? So I might be working, I might hit my jab and then move, hit my jab and then move, but the main thing I'm focusing in on is how awesome my guard is right now and making sure my elbows stay close, my hands stay up nice and high. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with a cross. When I do my cross, remember back shoulder becomes the front shoulder. Turn all the way in, all the way right back, right? So we hit and then we're right back on our toes, we hit and then we're right back, right? Part of the punch and then back, part of the punch and then back. As you're doing this, get to where you can do it, right from your stance. I don't want to have to take a big wide step, right? I want to be able to just be here, boom. I might plant my feet a little bit so I can hit with power, but I don't want to feel like I have to stretch that stance out, right? Do a perfect cross and then come right back. Perfect cross and then back. Cross and then back, right? Cross and then back. And now the hook. Elbow comes up, shoulder turns through, and I go just past the center line. Once my hand goes through the center line a little bit, that's as far as I have to go. If I go all this way, I gave up my back. Too much of a range of motion, right? A quick turn, and then I'm back. Turn, and then back. Quick little shoulder pop, right? My elbow comes up, my shoulder turns through, and it's that motion that really reaches out and makes the hook have a little bit of power behind it, right? Quick hook, and then back. 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 Hook. Good. And now right from here, you're gonna simply do your kicks. Actually, I take that back. Quick kale check. So we're gonna do five push-ups, and then today we're gonna do reverse crunches. Reverse crunches are where you point your toes and bring your knees to your chest, right? So for you guys, you're gonna point your toes, knees come to the chest. Point the toes, knees come to the chest. But not until we do our push-ups. Ready, set up five push-ups with me. Perfect position and Go, say one, sir. Go, two, three, four, five, and then flip. Reverse crunches, 30 seconds with me. Go, reverse crunch. Knees to the chest, point the toes. Knees to the chest, point the toes. Only 30 seconds. Knees come up, hips come off the ground. That's it. 10 more seconds. 
squeeze, 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 and right back up. And now for our kicks. So with our front kicks, we're making sure that our knee points, or our knee comes up, bends, and then we extend the kick. So from this side, bend the knee, extend the kick, and then come right back to my guard. Kick, and then right back. So we're in our guard, I throw my front kick, and then right back on my toes, right? Kick, and then right back. Notice how my hands stay right here, right? Keep moving, throw your kick, boom, I throw my kick, my hands don't move, right? It's not necessary for my hands to move in order for my foot to move, right? Kick, and then right back to my guard. Kick, and then right back, right? Kick, and then back. I move around so you guys can see it from different angles. You can certainly move around if you're thinking like, I'm sparring the person, I angle, I hit him with a kick, right? Or I slide in, I stuff the kick, right? For beginners, you might just stay right here and just practice leaning back, hitting that perfect kick, right? And now back foot, same thing. Back leg comes through, kick, and then right back. Kick with the back leg, back to your guard. For the kick, back to the guard. Kick, and then right back. Make sure that back hip comes all the way through. So instead of just this little kick, I'm trying to really stretch right out. Try and kick as far away as you can with these kicks when you're kicking in form. The more you can get that big full range of motion, the better. Full range kick, and then right back. Full range kick, and then back. Full range kick, and then back. That's it. Kick, back to your guard. Kick, and then right back, all right? And shake out your arms for a moment. Next round, you're gonna put punches and kicks together, right? So now from here, we go into a front kick into our jab cross. So you're gonna throw your kick, and then jab cross, and then we're back to moving. Front kick, jab cross, and then back. Front kick, jab cross. For white, yellow, and orange belts, this is your kick combination for this cycle that I'm looking forward to see video checks on. Let's see how good this looks. And it should be that a kick, one, two, my hands come right back. Throw my kick, one, two, hands come right back. Think perfect form each time, hands come right back to your guard. Kick, one, two, pick it up a little bit. And then we're back, and then back. That's it. One more. Good. Next one is going to be jab cross and then back leg. With this one, I want you to think one, two, and right off of this punch, I throw the kick off the punch. So instead of me punching, coming back, and then kicking, it's I punch, I punch, I throw my kick. So maybe I have somebody that's retreating as I'm following, and I'm going one, two, three, and I'm trying to get that strike in there, right? So now one, two, back leg kicks. And again, one, two, back leg kicks, right? One, two, back leg kicks. One, two, back leg kicks. One, two, back leg kicks. Let's pick it up a little bit. Two, fire the kick. That's it. One, two, fire the kick and then move. One, two, fire the kick and then move. One, two, fire the kick and then move. That's it. One, two, kick. One, two, kick. Keep moving. One, two, kick. And then move. One, two, kick. One, two, kick. One more time. One, two, kick. And then set. Courtesy. Next set of Kel. Five more push ups. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Flip, reverse crunches. 30 more seconds. Knees to the chest, point the toes. Knees to the chest, point the toes. Ten more seconds, come on. And time, jump right back up. All right, so now round one of sparring with the wrenchy. This week is gonna be that I'm throwing my punch at you, right? And as it's coming at you, you're gonna pretend like it's a left hook. It's gonna be like we're sparring, I throw my left hook. As, your, as my left hook comes, which will look like this on the screen for you guys, you're gonna cover here, your right arm covers, and then I come back. Actually, right now this round you're just covering. So when I go here, you're covering on this side. When I go here, you're covering on this side. And remember with this cover, my hand, I put right on the side of my head 
If I had gloves on, it would be my fist. But I don't have gloves on, so I want my hand there. It's gonna be much better um, base. It gives me much better grip on the side of my head is this. And also, I don't punch myself in the head, right? Secondly, put your hand on your head. Don't keep it aside. And when they punch, you hit yourself in the head. And then the last detail point is, if here's my guard, the cover is forward at a 45. It's not straight out to the side, and I don't want it to be straight forward, right? I'm forward at a 45. So if you look at this angle, it's probably a better. It's forward at a 45 here, not straight out to the side, right? From the side of my head, you can't see my head. This is where it's protecting me from the hook, right? So here we go. Ready? Body sideways. I go here, and then you're covering this side. I come here, and then you're covering on this side, right? Here, cover on this side. Oh, cover on that side. Boom, cover on this side. Now cover on this side. I strike, and I strike, cover. I strike, cover, right? So now cover back to this side again. Strike, strike, strike. Cover back to this side again. Bah, bah, bah. What happens if I go here? And then I come back to here. And I come back to here. And then here again. And then here. And then here. Now if I throw kicks, now you're gonna simply body cover, right? And as I body cover, my whole body crunches. So it's not just dropping my arm, but my whole body drops down to absorb the kick. Uh, sorry, the kick was coming here, and as I drop, it's now coming here. So I didn't really have to move my hand. I dropped my arm by dropping my whole body, which means that this opening is still small, this is still small. When I do this, this is gone, but this is now big, right? Small little motions as I'm blocking those strikes. So ready, round kick to this side, you drop on that side. Do it again, do it again. And now as I come to the other side, block on that side. Do it again, do it again, do it again. So now we have the head on this side, the head on this side, the body on that side, the body on this side, the head on this side, the body on that side, the body on this side, the head on this side, the head on that side, body. Body, head, 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 body, head, body, and then set. And courtesy, nice work team. And then everyone, seiza or stretch, whatever your body needs the most of right now. For yellow and orange belts, if you're continuing on, awesome, you're welcome to. If not, your kale today is gonna be a set of 10 jumping jacks, or actually we're gonna continue the wood choppers. So you guys will do two sets of the wood choppers, right? Which are I reach to the sky, I drop down, I do a push up, I reach back to the sky. Two sets of 10, 30 second break in between, right? Uh, this week we've been talking, or this month we've been talking about bullying again. And with the match hat this week, we're talking about what happens when the bully continues to bully you, right? I was nice at first, I said, would you please leave me alone? And then it kept bothering me and I asked them nicely, or I mentioned nicely to them, hey, I asked you to please leave me alone. And they kept bothering me and then I had to be a little more forceful. I said, leave me alone. And now they're starting to say things like, what are you gonna do about it? Yeah, chicken, what are you gonna do, right? And so they're pushing you a little bit more, try and make me, you can't make me stop. And so now I have to work a little harder. I have to give them the ultimatum. However, if I have someone that's saying, hey, you can't make me stop, and if I say, if you don't stop, I'm gonna tell the teacher, right, they've already told me to make them stop, and it's probably not gonna work so well. So if instead, I'm able to say, if you keep doing what you're doing, I'm gonna go tell the teacher. So if you keep on whatever, I'm gonna tell my parent. Now they have the chance to stop on their own and it's their decision. Right, so instead of it being you saying, if you don't, I will, instead it's you saying, if you keep going, then I'm going to tell the teacher. So now they can say, well, if I keep going, I'm gonna get in trouble, and they can make their own decision to stop. So um, that's the tip for the week for bullying. Remember giving the ultimatum is more of saying, hey, if you keep doing this, then I'm going to, all right? Time to get back to training. Intermediate team and above, let's get it going. All right, back up. And um, we're gonna start off warming up our roundhouse kicks. So with our roundhouse kicks, you're just gonna lean back, you're gonna throw your kick. If you wanna do the side step right now, great. If not, that's fine too. I just want you to get your hips warmed up if you were just sitting down for a minute like I was, right? My hips need to be warm, just a moment. So you're just gonna do lead leg, and then back leg, and then back to your lead leg back to your back leg, and I'd like you to throw your back leg and come back today instead of throwing it and just whipping all the way through, right? So I'm going lead leg, and then back leg, as if I made contact and I have to come back. Lead leg, into your back leg. One more time, lead leg, 
back leg, All right? So now we're gonna practice this step on the roundhouse kick. If when I throw my roundhouse kick, I stay right in the front, the person can counter straight down at me and I'm really not gonna have much of a defense. But if instead I sidestep just a little bit as I throw this kick, now I'm offline. Their punch was coming at my head. Look where my head is, right? And now my head's not there anymore, it's over here. So as I throw this kick, right, and it's even bigger in real life, it looks a little smaller on the screen, but I'm a good two feet away from where that punch was just gonna go, right? So if the person did this, my head's over here and my kick is coming here. So I'm thinking, small step, roundhouse kick, right? Small step, roundhouse, and off you go. Step, kick, and you're right back. Step, kick, back to your guard. Step, kick, and then right back. We're gonna practice this for about a minute, which a minute worth of good roundhouse kicks, if you're really taking your time right now and this is your pace, it's taking us a good three seconds to get these in, which is only about 20 roundhouse kicks, All right? And I can tell you, 20 roundhouse kicks isn't that many. How many of these roundhouse kicks do you suppose I've thrown over the course of the last, see I started in 1989. How many years is that? Anyone do the math for me quick? Something like 30 years, right? Step, kick, good. Now I'm gonna do the other side, same thing. Step with your left, and now I kick with my right leg, and this does a couple of things. One, it still gets my head offline, right? It adds more power to the kick as I'm driving, and the power gets there faster. For me to kick you right now without taking a step, my power doesn't get here until here in that moment, right? I'm almost at a full 180 degree extension. When I step first, I step, and now I hit, and I'm already hitting you there, right? My hip is just starting to engage. I'm just starting to extend my leg out. I'm just getting to my power, and I get there faster. Because here I have to go all the way to here to get to there. Here I just take this small step, and boom, I'm already at my power zone, right? Instantly I'm already hitting you, right? So it's step, throw the kick, and then you're off to the side. Step, kick, and then back. Step, kick. If you need to take that little step down in the front, that's fine, right? If I hit something, it's a whole lot easier to pull myself back, right? If I did throw and I missed, then that's where the spin through comes from, right? That would be the only time I really spin through is if I actually fully commit, bam, and I miss, and you're gone, that's where that knee comes up, right? But I'd like to practice once in a while, boom, like I hit you, right? Stop, kick, wham, I made contact. I didn't have to follow through, boom, right? One more time. All right, Kale, 10 push-ups. Everyone drop. Let's hit it. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flip. You guys are doing toe touch crunches. So we're reaching up, touching our toes. 30 seconds. Go. You can fold your body right in half. Don't let your feet come over your head. Right? Legs on the other side of your hips. Just fold in half. Reach up, grab your toes. Reach up, grab your toes. 15 more seconds. Ten more, come on. Three, two, one. And then jump right back up. Fix your D. Tighten your belt. Make sure it doesn't fall off. All right, so now going into combinations. Your combination for at least right now this cycle is lead leg roundhouse into our um, jab cross. I'm sorry, lead leg front kick. Lead leg front kick, jab cross into your lead leg roundhouse kick. All right, so as we do this one, what I'd like you to think of is adding that step in, right? So now I throw my front kick, jab, cross, I step, and then I throw my roundhouse, right? So do it with me again, front kick, jab, cross, step, throw the roundhouse. And again, front kick, jab, cross, step, throw the roundhouse. And front kick, jab, cross, step, throw the roundhouse kick, right? So it's training a little bit now. For about a minute, we're just gonna go fast. Kick, one, two, step, throw your kick. And then we move and we do it again, ready? Step, kick and then move, step, kick, and then move, step, kick, that's it, keep it working, 
open, and kick. One, two, that's all straight, and then I angle, and I hit my circular strike, all right? Kick, one, two, all straight, angle, hit, all right? And keep in mind that from here, boom, I'd make that contact. That would bring the rate down back in line with the person, right? When I don't have that person, I'm gonna tend to follow through a little bit. So it looks like you're coming off balance a little bit, you're doing it well, but it's just that you're focused on following that kick so that, ah, oh, I missed it. So that the kick goes all the way through, right? And three on the count, ready? One, and two, and three. All right, so now we're gonna do similar, but we're gonna change the order. So we're gonna do our back leg first, and then we're gonna throw the jab cross, and then we're gonna go to the lead leg, right? So now, or actually take that back. Let's go back leg, jab, cross up. No, I take back, taking that back. We're gonna stay with this. So front kick, and then, um, why did I just lose that? Back leg front kick, sorry. And then one, two, and then lead leg roundhouse kick, right? So ready, back leg front kick, jab, cross, and then step, lead leg roundhouse kicks, right? And again, kick, one, two, step, kick. Right? This would be like somebody's charging you, wham! I hit them, I step off to the side, I throw the next kick. So back leg, set, one, two, step, throw the kick. Back leg, set, one, two, step, throw the kick. And back leg, set, one, two, step, throw the kick, right? And let's pick it up and train it now, ready? Step, kick. Now we're moving, step, kick. And you're back to moving again. Back leg, keep it going. All right, three of them on the count. Ready? And go. And go. One more time. Ready? Go. Good. And then set. And courtesy. Next set of kale. Ten push-ups. Drop. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and then flip. Beat her up, crunches, go. Touch your toes. Hold the body right now. Let's go. You guys gotta train hard. Hang with me, I need to get my sweat on. Ten more seconds, come on. And then right back up. All right, round two, sparring with the wrenchy. So now this time we're adding in counters. So now I throw my hook, and you're gonna cover like you did before for the hook, and then we're gonna come off of that with a hook cross. So now your counter should look like this. Cover, hook, cross, and then you're back. Cover, hook, cross, and then you're back to your guard. Cover, hook, cross, right back to your guard. My attack is here. My left hook's coming in, and you're blocking me. Ready? And block, cover, cross, hook, right? Boom, or hook, cross, rather. Cover, hook, cross. Cover, hook, cross. Cover, hook, cross. Cover, hook, cross. Boom, all right? So now on the other side, when my right hook comes, and this would be the big, wide overhand right. A straight right hand, you're not gonna do this with. That's gonna be different. This is, you see the wide right hand coming. Big Chuck Liddell, for those of you fans of Chuck, right? So now with this one, it's similar to bursting, but my hand's gonna stay tight to my body. And I'm gonna fire a straight punch and then come right back with my hook. And my goal is that my straight punch beats her wide right hand, which straight is always better than circular. And if you're fast enough, you'll see this coming, and then boom, that quick one too, and that person will be here trying to punch you, all right? So I feed wide, huh, cover one, two. I feed wide, huh, cover one, two. I feed wide, huh, and remember, it's one, two. So instead of cover, one, two, it's cover and one happen at the same time. Boom, and then come back with that left hook, right? Cover, one, two. Boom, one, two. That's hopefully what you would see happen is I throw this punch 
You catch me straight, right? Cover. So let's go back to this side. Cover and then hook cross. Cover one, two. And remember the cover one, two, it's one, right? One, two. This side is cover and then go after. So it's almost like one, two, three, whereas this side's one, two, right? So this is one, two. This side, one, two, three, right? One, two, here. One is the cover, two, three is the counter. One, two, cover one, two. One, two, cover one, two. Now roundhouse kicks. If I kick here, we did this earlier, I low body cover, but I do that by dropping my stance. And now you're gonna just simply fire back a jab cross. If I kick this side and you drop your stance, then it's gonna be, I take that back. On this side, you'll be here, so you'll fire a jab cross. On this side, it'll be cross hook, right? So, as I'm kicking you, here, you're covering, and you're gonna fire the cross hook. On this side, you cover, jab cross, right? Cover, cross hook. Cover on this side, jab cross, right? Cover on this side, cross hook. Cover on this side, jab cross, right? Cover on this side, cover, hook cross. Cover on this side, cross hook. One, two, three, one, two. That side is whatever that side was. This side is the jab cross. This side, cover, cross hook. Cover, hook cross. Cover, cross hook. Cover, jab cross. Cover, jab cross. Cover, cross hook. Oh, cover, cover. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, jab cross. Oh, cross hook. Oh, jab cross. Cover hook cross. Cross hook. Oh, jab cross or cross hook. Oh, cross hook. Cover, cross hook. Hook cross. Oh, jab cross. And then set. And courtesy. Awesome job. So, intermediate team. For you guys, wood choppers, you're doing three sets, but you're doing 10, right? So from here, I drop down, I do my push up, I pop back up, that counts as one. You do that 10 times, break for 30 seconds, do it again, 10 times, break for another 30 seconds, do it again, 10 more times. Three sets for you guys. Advanced team, time to train. Of course, intermediate team, you're more than welcome to stick around, right? Advanced team, we're gonna take it up a notch. So going into our basic Thai boxing concepts and expanding into all four of them, but staying with our front kicks and roundhouse kicks. So our first kick is gonna be the front kick. The second kick will be the roundhouse kick. And we're gonna do a cross hook or a hook cross in between. So round one is lead leg, back leg. So I go lead leg, front kick, cross hook, and now my back leg comes towards the roundhouse kick. So I wanna take that step as I throw it, right? Lead leg, front kick, cross hook, step, back leg, roundhouse kick. One more time slow. Lead leg front kick, cross hook, step, back leg roundhouse kick, all right? So let's train it for about a minute now. Ready, go, kick, cross hook, step, kick. Now we're right back. Right now, think perfect form, but keep your heart pumping. One, pop, pop, step, kick, and then move. And again, kick, one, two, step, kick. Think speed, many of you should be much faster than I am with even better form. Right? I know my form's pretty good. I might be okay there. But you guys should be much faster than me. Pop, pop, turn. Ah. Kick. Shh, 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 shh. Keep going. Shh, shh. Step. Kick. Kick. One, two. Step. Kick. One more. Kick. One, two. Step. Kick. All right? So now from here, we're gonna go back leg, lead leg. Still front kick first, roundhouse kick second. So now I go back leg, but now I'm gonna go hook cross when I throw with the back leg. Now I step right and I throw my roundhouse kick left. Right? Back leg, front kick, plant back, hook cross, step right, roundhouse kick left. And one more slow. Back leg, hook cross, step right, kick left. Right? And about a minute, let's go. Kick, one, two, step, kick. Move. 
Keep your hands up. Pay attention to where your guard is each time. It was one of the big things I was talking about trying to influence everyone with through this week is making sure your guard stays right where it should be. Instead of letting the hands drop and they drop here, look how open I am, right? Hands are in. Kick. One, two, step, kick. All right? A couple more. All right, so now, lead leg into lead leg. So now I go lead leg, front kick. Jab, cross, comb, I'm sorry, cross hook. Cross hook combination, and then I go into my roundhouse. Now with this combo, you might find that off of my hook, I'm in really tight, and I can just lean back and throw the kick, right? As opposed to hitting my hook and then stepping off line and kicking. So play with it either way. It might be that I go kick, cross hook, kick, because it's just short and fast. I might go kick, cross hook, and then I step, and I throw that kick, right? Play around with either one, because either one could be applicable, right? And you're off, go. Shh, shh, shh. Shh. Cross hook, step, throw the kick. Right. Kick, one, two. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, 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 shh. Oh. Three jab cross, seven cross hook. Ready? Kick, cross hook. That's it. Keep it moving. Shh, shh, shh. Shh. Shh, shh, shh. Shh. Shh, shh, shh. Shh. Shh, shh, shh. Shh. And time. And then last one is what? What's missing? Back leg, back leg. So go back leg, front kick. Hook cross and then I come into my back leg roundhouse, right? Now from this angle, I go my kick, I come back, hook cross, and then off of that cross, I'm gonna throw the kick again right away. So this is like I hit, and then I follow right up through with that kick. And even if they didn't move away, at worst, it would be kick into a knee because their body is still there. So it'd still be effective, all right? So I'm going back leg kicks, hook cross, right into my back leg again, right? Now, if off of these hands, I can go one, two, and step on that cross, then that's even better yet, and it opens that center line up a little more, right? So from the front side, back leg front kick, hook cross, back leg roundhouse. Again, slow, back leg front kick, hook cross, back leg roundhouse. And one more, back leg kicks, hook cross, back leg comes right off of that cross. Don't bring your shoulder back, all right? Let's train it for about a minute. Kick, hook cross. Kick, kick, hook, cross, kick, kick, hook, cross, kick, 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 and pay attention to where your arms are. Let's pick it up. Bring your roundhouse kick up fast. Mine's feeling still a little bit glitchy today. My hips not making it as smooth as I want it to. One, two, shh. But yours, I'm sure, looks much faster. Shh, 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 shh. All right, back. Shh, 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 shh. What am I doing? Back leg first. Shh, 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 shh. Two more. Shh, 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 shh. That's it. Last one. Shh, 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 shh. Good. And Cal for the advanced team. 15 push-ups. Drop with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. And flip. Out with a knee crunches. 30 seconds. Go. Keep it going, 15 seconds to go. And time, back up. 
firing with a wrenchy round three. So this week, what you guys are doing is you're shadow boxing. And as you're shadow boxing, it's like you're sparring with me and I want you to stay busy. So instead of just jab, you move, cross, move, right? Anyone that's sparred with me knows you probably can't wait this long on the outside because I'm gonna throw something. I'm not very patient when it comes to sparring. I want to throw and be busy. So I want you guys busy, right? If I'm shadow boxing with you, I'm here. Shh. Throw, throw, pop, pop, throw a kick, boom, right? I'm staying busy the whole time. Making sure my hands come back in, right? Every once in a while as I step out, you might see my stance relax, but then the moment that I'm in range to be able to throw, my hands come right back up. So that's what you guys are doing. I'm standing here, and when I throw my big hook, you're looking to shadow box and then cover, hook cross, and then you're back to moving. I throw this big hook, and it's cover hook, and then you're back to moving, and you're back to shadow boxing. I throw a kick, cover, cross hook, and you're right back to moving, right? I throw a kick, cover, hook, cross, and then you're right back to moving again, right? Whatever it happens to be, you're just busy, and then you're countering the counters or the strikes that I throw, ready? Round one. You guys get three rounds in. Oh, there's my timer. Ready? Three, two, one, fight! So you should already be punching me. You're shadow boxing. And then I throw, boom, counter. And you're right back to shadow boxing me. I'm covering, I'm covering. Boom, counter me. I go here, bah, counter me. And then right back to shadow boxing again. And then I go here, bah, counter me. Right back to shadow boxing again. Boom, counter, back to shadow boxing, come on. Huh. Oh wait, that was an uppercut, sorry. Boom, good, huh. hit, and then shadow boxing. Boom, counter, back to your shadow boxing. Boom, counter, back to your shadow boxing. Boom, counter, shadow boxing. Boom, counter, huh. counter, come on, busier. Huh. Counter, busier, come on. Hands back in, boom. Hands back in, keep moving, keep moving. If I throw in the middle of a kick, you better cover quickly and time. Quick breather. Next round, same as the last, only this time, I want you to try and make sure you're staying a little bit busier. I can't see all of you, but my guess is some of you are just standing there waiting for the punch. That's not what I want, I want you busy, right? Throw, throw, throw. Throw, 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 this is to my pace, right? I see you, boom, 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 and then you throw a kick, cover, hook, cross, and then I'm right back to moving again, right? I should be getting like 60 to 100 strikes in inside of that time. Count how many punches you throw, see if you get to at least 60. Ready, round two, go! Your goal is to get 60 punches in. Oh, on this side. Boom, and then you're countering me in the middle of it. And make them good punches, don't just go one, two, three, four, five, six, Boom, it's like you're sparring. And the kick comes and you counter me. And then the kick comes and you counter me. We kick in the middle, all right, punch in the middle of your punch, it might be that we clashed. Boom, counter. Throw, throw, throw. Boom, block counter. Throw, throw, throw. Pah, block counter. Throw, throw. Boom, block counter. Keep throwing, keep throwing. Boom. That's it. Come on. Huh. Keep coming at me. Huh. Keep coming, keep coming. Huh. I've got a great defense. I'm blocking a lot of this. Not sure what you're throwing, but I'm trying to block it. Huh. Huh. Oh, saved by the bell. All right, round three and four are gonna be the same. You guys get an extra round in this week, right? Or today from yesterday. And what's gonna happen is as you're going, you're throwing nonstop like you were before. I'm throwing, you're countering me as I throw. And when I say sprawl, you just simply sprawl and then you pop right back up. And to make it easy so that you don't know or can't say, I didn't know, did you say sprawl? Did you say you were punching me? I'm gonna sprawl with you. So you guys are working, I'm throwing, you're countering. And when I say sprawl, I'll also drop and I'll pop right back up and be ready for that first strike. Especially if I beat you, I'm pretty fast with these. All right, here we go. Last two rounds, go. So you're already throwing. You should already be throwing. You're already moving. And then I'm going to counter, boom. And you counter me. And you go right back to throwing. And then I throw, boom. 
you counter me. And you're right back to throwing. Sprawl, you drop. You pop right back up. Boom, counter me. And back to throw right away. Bah, counter. And then right back to throwing. Sprawl. Bah, counter right away. You gotta get up fast and look for that counter to come at you. That's it. Bah. Sprawl. Bah. Bah. I hope I didn't beat you to the punch. Bah. I'm probably older than everyone on this line right now. Bah. Sprawl. Bah. Bah. Sprawl. Bah. Bah. Keep busy in between. Throw. Bah. Sprawl. Sprawl. And breathe. So if you're doing these rounds right, you should be getting pretty exhausted. So one last round, and same drill. You're throwing nonstop, I throw my counters, you counter me. When I say sprawl, you sprawl, right? Last dance, you guys ready? I'll take that as a thunderously loud yes sir, especially out of Sammy. Ready, let's work, come on, huh, cover. Ha, cover, counter, sprawl. Ish, ish. Bah, right away. Ha, sprawl. Ish, sprawl. Ish, ish. Ha, 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 ha. Sprawl. Ish, bah, sprawl. Ish, bah. Throw, throw, throw. Come on. Ha. Sprawl. Hish. Sprawl. Hish. Sprawl. Hish. Ha. Sprawl. Hish. Ha. Sprawl. Hish. Sprawl. Hish. Push. That was a spinning back. And time. And set. Courtesy, host. So for the advanced team cal, you guys have to do still just three sets of the wood choppers with the push up, although yours are gonna be sets of 15, right? For candidates, you have to do set of five, still 15 though, right? So full reach, push up, reach. 15 times, 30 second break, five times, right? So Annika is amazing, you can do that instead of what I sent you earlier. All right, awesome job today, team. Thank you so much for participating. Enjoy the rest of your night.